did you know that it is possible to influence almost every game in your favor without any unfair means? Today, we'll be looking at the things you should definitely avoid at the Aki so as not to make your opponent unnecessarily strong. We bet that you will recognize yourself in one or two of these points. If you manage to remember this video in your future matches, you will always be in control of your game and, in the best case scenario, your opponent. Because your behavior between your throws is almost as important as your throws themselves. Let's start with today's edition of Darts Decoded. Avoid these things in a darts match. Point one, body language. Shaking your head, slumping your shoulders, clapping your hands. Every dart player knows these desperate gestures from other players, but in most cases, also from themselves. You've already thrown the sixth dart past the double, and your opponent has now calmly played his way down to a finish. Frustration. Shaking your head, you go to the board to pull out your darts and helplessly hand your opponent the leg. As you walk back, you mumble your annoyance to yourself and slump your shoulders. Have you ever wondered what your behavior triggers in your opponent's head? In this situation, your opponent is thinking, Great, he's completely mentally down. Now I'm going to get the leg to finish him off for good. So bad body language doesn't just make your game worse. It makes your opponent's game better. You give him the feeling that he is now in control of the game. But how can you avoid this situation in future? It's as simple as it is difficult. You have to try with all your might to maintain positive body language. Instead of slumping your shoulders, straighten your body and stick your chest out. Instead of shaking your head, take your misses with humor and smile as you walk back. Instead of swearing, encourage yourself, even if your opponent checks the leg. If it's not the match dart, you still have every opportunity to win the match. Celebrate even small successes. For example, clench your fist when you hit a triple with the last dart. Even little things like this will annoy your opponent. If you manage to implement these tips, you can even manage to unsettle your opponent in a fair way. He will start to think about your behavior. How can he stay so calm? He seems so confident he never seems to give up. In the best case scenario, your opponent will think about your behavior and forget to concentrate on his throw. The best thing about it, you are and remain completely in your own game, no matter what your opponent does. Point two, negative thoughts. Does this thought sound familiar? You have scored better than your opponent and have earned the chance to throw on a double and suddenly you start to doubt that you will hit it. Thoughts like, if I miss now, my opponent will check the leg, or the dart will probably go over anyway, are running around in your head. So how do you get rid of these negative thoughts? There is a simple solution here too, but it takes a lot of practice. Turn your negative thoughts into positive ones. Examples? Instead of thinking, I hope I don't miss, think, I'm going to hit it now. Instead of thinking about an impending defeat, Think about how you will win the game, and your darts will fly exactly where you want them to go. As already mentioned, positive thinking requires a lot of practice. You will notice time and again that negative thoughts and feelings will accompany you in your matches. From now on, your task is to identify them and turn them into positives. The stop sign method can also help you with this. Whenever you notice a negative thought during a match, put a large stop sign in front of you to stop your thoughts. Gather yourself briefly and mentally say the positive sentences you need in the situation. You will be surprised how well this can work. Bear in mind that this process takes time, but the more often you remind yourself and recognize and transform your negative thoughts, the less they will occur in the future and the more successful your darts game will be, especially in mentally challenging situations. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope these tips will help you to improve your game if you enjoyed the video, we would be delighted if you would give us a like. You can also subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so that you don't miss anything in the future. You are also welcome to watch other videos from our channel, which we have linked here. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Watch, learn, and win.